your political, you Nazi apologist, you Nazi apologist, rewriting history, rewriting history, rewriting history. Go back and check what Hitler did. Go back and check what Hitler did. There's a book called Mein Kampf. You've obviously never heard of it, but in 1925, John Mann, we've been speaking to Ken Livingston. We showed your remarks. Mr Livingston says you were over the top in calling him a Nazi apologist. Well, he is a Nazi apologist and uh, he's a worse historian than he is a politician. He's factually inaccurate. Uh, he ought to read Mein Kampf, Hitler's book. He ought to study what the Nazis did, including when Hitler came to power in January 1933. He ought to look at the events of that year. He ought to see what the first, second, third thing that that Nazi regime did, who it targeted and why. He ought to look at what he and his political leaders said about Zionism and then he should reconsider why he said these hugely offensive, grotesque remarks. The timing is calculated and offensive as well. He, he should not be sat on Labour's National Executive Committee. He should be suspended today. Right. Ken Livingstone, what do you say to that? Well, I'd simply say to your man, go back and check. Is what I said true or not? And the BBC, you've got a huge team of researchers. It will take just an hour or two to go back. But what's and the confirm. point? But what's the, the point? Because I was asked a question, I answered it. I have never, yeah. in 41 years since I won my first, 45 years since I won my first election, I have never lied. I've always answered the no, question. But you seem to be implying that, uh, and by the way, I don't think it's entirely historically accurate because they'd already started attacking the Jews when he came to power and Crystal Nach followed not mm. long afterwards but as well. But it wasn't attacked to it, say he was going to deport all the Jews. But you always seem to be implying that, oh, well, he wasn't such a bad guy because he just wanted no, to I'm deport them all. Uh, but he only went wrong later on. No. I mean, people will think you're... It's unbelievable no, what they're hearing in British politics today. He was a monster from start to finish, but it's simply the historical fact. His policy was to initially to send all the Germanish Jews to Israel, and there were private meetings between the Zionist movement and Hitler's government that you know, were, were kept confidential, only became apparent after the war, when they were di having a dialogue about whether or not to do this. Right. I mean, John Mann, do you think Ken Livingstone is anti-Semitic? Yes, he is, and the, the, his, his rewriting of history... Well, he's factually wrong. Hitler was not a Zionist. Hitler blocked any attempt to get Jews into what was then Palestine. And the reason he did so, and he said so, and it was express, was because a Zionist state would be an international Jewish conspiracy and a base for it. Right. He said it in Mein Kampf, and it was said, mm. in, indeed, his, his foreign minister specified that in great detail in 1937, outlining why they weren't prepared to allow Jews who they wanted to get rid of to leave, to go to what was then Palestine, because it would have created this power base for an international Jewish conspiracy. Is this, Hitler was not a Zionist, and, and t to suggest so is so grotesque. It's calculatedly offensive. I, I think you've lost it, Mr Livingstone. I think you need some help. It's a deliberate, calculated attempt to cause problems, to stir up hatreds. Uh, what are you on at the moment? Right. You well, certainly shouldn't be on Labour's national executive. I mean, do you understand how those remarks, you say you're telling the truth, but how they would upset a whole community, how they would upset people who lived, survived or died during the Holocaust mm. to be used in any sort of comparison no, no. today? What John Mann just said isn't true. I've not said that Hitler was a Zionist. What I said but, was his policy in 32 was to deport Germany's Jews oh. to Israel. That doesn't say so I today. agree with it. But you yes. said it earlier today. Are you withdrawing that? I never said it. Are you withdrawing what it? What I said was that was his policy. It was followed by private conversations between the Zionist leadership and Hitler's government about what you whether said to today? carry out that policy. He didn't. I invite you. I, I Is this head for the Labour Party? Hmm. That you are raising these points about uh, the early 1930s hmm. at a time when the party faces a crisis of anti-Semitism in its own ranks. I'm but not people raising... will be baffled that this is what you're doing, Ken. I'm Wilson. not raising these points. I was going to plan you to have a nice, quiet morning in the garden <laughs> until suddenly I'm descended on by all these journalists saying, is this true, right. is that not true? Well, I'd be much happier just to do the gardening today. Well, listen, nice day out. Uh, at least, which can't be said of all politicians, you've been here 
and you've answered the the questions and then uh, you can't over say that time. Of all politicians. And, I, and uh, that's exactly what I did say. <laughs> we can't say that of all. And we're grateful for that. Mm. People will make up their own minds about what you're saying and we'll let you go back to your garden. Thank you. John Mann, thank you, if you're still there.